Nation, I'm Rock Var here again with another DCUO video. Today we're going to be going over the new changes that are on PC test for game update 73. Last time we talked about just the general changes that had been made or that were already on test. This is the new stuff that they just announced the other day, and this will be included in game update 73 which is going to completely change the game in dc universe online as far as how characters are specced and the, how the power sets work so what we're going to do today um, like i said we're going to go through the the general information and then the next video i know i said that in this one i was going to talk about power sets basically what i'm going to do is put all of the changes into one group of videos just for power sets and I'll do that starting next but I thought it might make more sense just to um, get the all the general changes out there first so here's what we've got and uh, you, if you want to read along with this you can check it out in the link in the description of this video it's at dcuniverseonline.com in the forum section under announcements um, the general changes that have been made now, play style focuses selected with skill points are now called focuses and have been renamed. The names are power, ma or excuse me, power mastery is now called super powered. Hybrid mastery is now called hybrid. Weapon master is now called weapons expert. The power tree has been rearranged for gadgets, mental and nature. They've fixed the following weapon attacks, not returning power, supercharge in the correct amounts. Brawling's Haymaker, launching uppercut, dual wields, dual fury, flying spin attack, whirlwind strike, encircling throw, stunning swipe mastery, martial arts tornado kick and smoke bomb, rifles overhead smash, shields overhead plate smash, shield uppercut, two-footed slam, handspring kick, staff's downward smash combo, and two-handed melee attack. Damage to an entity of the same fraction will no longer be added to the scorecard. Controllers, they've increased relative power healing. With items, they've fixed stats and quality on choker of endurance items. For Legends, they fixed a bug that was giving Legends characters max damage reduction in PvP and PvE. Pets now spawn at the correct level. A known issue, pets displayed combat rating will be lower than player CR. In PvP, they updated critical stat clamps for PvP. They reduced the damage, shielding, healing, power healing of all supercharges while PvPing. They've reduced the effectiveness of shields in PvP. In regard to skill points, they did a pass to ensure each skill point guarantees stat progression. A few rare edge cases were granting zero stats for a skill point at low levels. In regard to stats, they increased healer roll bonus restoration to 35% up from 25%. They're continuing to review overall healing strength and healing power costs and will be making future adjustments as needed. They've increased rollless buff bonuses for missing tanks and healers. Updated stat growth curves and starting values, health, damage, and healing relative to NPCs and other players should remain unchanged. Relative power healing should be increased for controllers. This change narrows the gap between the top and bottom CRs, both for players and NPCs. It should also help reduce perceived issues with power cost scaling. NPC stats, they've reduced health of non-boss NPCs in alerts and raids, but they've increased damage of NPCs in alerts. They've significantly reduced damage of NPC minions and matches and raids. In stealth, they've reduced the effectiveness of stealth shield provided by the improved stealth mod, and they've reduced shield absorption for stealth and invisibility. Shields, they increased six second shields to 12 seconds in PVE. The following abilities were not affected by the increase in shield duration. Munitions, rocket retreat, rocket jump, survival, and Celestial Corrupted Blessing. Tactical Mods. The Blast Adapter mod will now properly deal damage. The following mods have been changed to work on different abilities because the previous abilities are no longer in the game. Accelerated Intimidation is now Accelerated Battle Display. Critical Intimidation 2 and 3 are now Critical Battle Display 2 and 3. 
critical hive mind two and three are now critical primal wolf form two and three relentless precision two's tooltip is now shown correctly once socketed into a piece of equipment they've updated the tooltip for supercharged vindictive two and supercharged vindictive three to state that the supercharge returned is every one half seconds Supercharged Devastating Flip 2's tooltip no longer states the supercharge is returned over time. In Weapon Mastery, while having the hybrid focus chosen, the following cross Weapon Mastery attacks no longer return power. Dual Wield Ground Pound Mastery and Explosive Shot Mastery. One-Handed Solar Flame Mastery. Rifle Flurry Mastery. Slip Shot Mastery. And Staff Mortar Mastery and the icons that have been updated, they have updated icons for home turf trinkets. So that is a general overview of the changes that have now been made on PC test that will be ready to go for game update 73. In my next videos, we'll jump into the specific power sets and what those changes look like. If you enjoyed the video, give it a share and a like, and don't forget to subscribe to VAR Nation for more DCUO videos. I'm Rock VAR reporting for VAR Nation News.